Hey Scorpios, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm coming back to do your weekly reading. This is for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, what's going on with Scorpios and their love life this week? Messages for Scorpios. I keep seeing that Knight of Wands, okay? Passion, Fire, Heat, someone coming in. Okay. For Scorpios, for this week, their love life. Did I... Welcome back, you guys. <laughs> Sometimes I get lost with the intro. Okay. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter, their love life for this week. What's going on? What's going on? Okay. We have the lovers, okay? Coming out strong. Gemini's energy is here with the lovers. We have judgment, okay? Your energy. And the Ten of Swords. Woo! Okay. Okay. I'm feeling right off the bat, of course, this could be you or your person's energy that I'm picking up. The stories could be flipped or reversed. So please put the characters where they go for your personal situation. Okay. I'm feeling like someone here. Yes, there was a lot of passion, love. Okay. Someone could want to bring that back around, but also someone is feeling like there's an ending here. Someone is feeling pain and I think consecutively in all of your readings, Scorpio, for the last several weeks, you have pulled the Ten of Swords. So there's been some type of major ending that a lot of you have been going through, okay? And I feel like either someone betrayed you or you betrayed someone. Ten of Swords uh, could mean betrayal, Okay. Ten of Swords could also mean someone is just giving up, okay? Trying to bring something back around, feeling like it won't be brought back around. So let's get into it with the lovers. Let's clarify for Scorpios. What is this lover's energy? Okay, we have the Two of Wands. Yeah. Some of you could be deciding what to do with the Gemini. Okay, the Ten of Pentacles is here. The Four of Swords. Ooh. For some of you, there was a lot. If it doesn't have anything to do with a Gemini, it was just a lover. Some of you, you chose or someone chose here <clears throat> to end it with someone. Five of Pentacles, Four of Swords. They chose Two of Wands. Someone here. Put the characters where they go. Someone decided to end it with someone. Okay. What's judgment here? The full energy. The four of pentacles. And the devil. Someone wants to bring this back around, but they are, are afraid. Someone is afraid to take that leap of faith. Fear is what's holding someone back. Four of pentacles with the devil. It's like too much holding back. Too much holding back from taking the leap of faith. It's like you just have to fly, okay? You, you just need to fly. Someone is feeling conflicted with the five of wands. Yeah, four of pentacles. Oh, king of swords. Yeah, there's too much restriction. Someone wearing a mask, hiding feelings, emotions. Could be a, uh, an air sign. Nine of swords. Someone deals with extreme nervousness. Four of Cups, fear of rejection. Yeah. Fear of rejection because they ended it with you. Now they're afraid to come back or you ended it with them and you're afraid to come back. The Sun. Leo. Four of Wands. Three of Swords. You're only going to suffer if you keep your feelings blocked off. That's for you or the cross watcher dealing with the Scorpio. You're only going to cause yourself to be in more pain because this is what you want. The sun with the four of wands. This is what you want, but this is the energy that you're in. Pain. Three of swords. 
Ooh, this this reading is just straight to the point. I don't I don't even know what else to say. It's just straight to the point. Ten of Swords. Show me this Ten of Swords over here. Five of Swords. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. So now it's causing someone to go into strategizing mode. How can I not get hurt? But I want to offer the Ace of Pentacles in the future. I want to offer the Ace of Pentacles, but how do I do it without getting hurt? How do I do it without getting rejected? This is what I'm hearing as the cards are coming out. I'm so afraid to get hurt that I'm suffering in silence, but I'm trying to figure out how I can still have this person, get with this person, or get this person back. This is what's going through their mind. Show me this person who Scorpio is dealing with. What are their feelings and emotions for Scorpio? Page of Cups. Okay. Two of Pentacles. They're wondering why they haven't heard from you. Strength card. Someone is wondering why they haven't heard from you. Yeah. They still feel the connection. So Scorpios, it looks like spirit is just confirming with you that fear is what's getting in the way. This person wants to hear from you. Yeah. They know it may be difficult for you to talk to them. But someone is like, I, I still want to hear from you, Page of Cups. I still want to talk. You know, I may not know everything, uh, two of pentacles, and <clears throat> you know, I may not, oh, I may not know what to do, what to say, but, um, I'm going to be brave about it. Strength card. Yeah, I'm going to be brave and, um, oh, here we go. I have to face Scorpio. That's what I'm seeing. They want to hear from you and they want to talk to you. Page of Cups, Knight of Wands, yeah. Oh, yeah. They know you have feelings for them. They know it. They can feel it. Two of Pentacles, Hermit. Yeah, they're wondering why I'm telling you. Virgo's energy could be... They're, it's like they're wondering why you have been in hermit mode. That's the two of pentacles. Like, why haven't I heard from you? It's just confirming what I already said. What's the strength card? <laughs> King of Cups. Yeah. Yeah. This person has a lot of emotions for you. Ooh. And it is hard not hearing from you. If you haven't been talking to this person, this person is like, God damn it, Scorpio. I'm about to rip your clothes off. <laughs> How's Scorpio feeling? How's Scorpio feeling about this person? Eight of Wands. Okay. So you want to reach out as well? Okay. Okay, y'all. Ace of Wands. <laughs> Nine of Cups. Y'all are nasty. See, this is why I don't do readings for y'all. This is why <laughs> I'm kidding. I do y'all readings every week. But you are definitely tempted to touch somebody. <laughs> Kaboom! Your energy, Scorpio, the tower. You want this person badly okay this is what i see right here eight of wands yep i want to talk to mm -hmm. everything in me is saying go see this person go talk to this person ace of wands you're on fire for this person nine of cups i desire this person some of you could be thinking about drunk sex when i get the nine of cups and the ace of wands that's like drinking and getting horny while you're drinking and thinking about what you want to do to this person. Uh-huh. How's Scorpio feeling about this person, this situation? 
Queen of Pentacles, okay. Ten of Pentacles, okay. Mm -hmm. And the Ten of Wands, yeah. Woo. You, you could be waiting right now. Uh-huh, you could be waiting. Some of you are focused more so on your money right now. You could be working very hard, Ten of Wands, for your stability, being this Queen of Pentacles energy, working hard on your money, okay? You could be wanting to be more stable before you join your life with this person. You could be wanting them to be more stable before they join their life with you. You see what I'm saying? You could be waiting for them to get more stable. Maybe you know this person's financial situation or something of that nature. Okay? Yeah. That could be the uh, Will of Fortune and the Ace of Pentacles. Someone waiting. It's taking time for someone to grow their money. Okay? Put the characters where they go. But I'm seeing like right here, this is loyalty. This is like putting in the work for a long-term relationship. And you intuitively know that this could go the distance. You know this. That's why you're turned on. You're like, damn, there's love here. There's passion here. I'm turned on by this person. And they're stable. Or you know that this person is working on their stability. And you. it's almost like you admire this person for working on their business or their job. What turned over? King of Wands turned over. Some other stuff turned over. What's this? Okay. Cancerian energy with the chariot and the King of Wands. Could be a fire sign or a cancer that you're dealing with. You may be on fire for a cancer. Okay? For a lot of you. Some of you are on fire for a fire sign. Aries Leo Sagittarius. Woo! You have a lot of passion toward this person, but they have that same passion for you. That's what I was saying. Like this person has a lot of emotions and passion toward you. Anything else Scorpio should know about this connection? Seven of pentacles. Six of pentacles. Yeah, there's a lot of like, let's invest or let's work on our money, waiting to like save up money six of pentacles okay nine of wands yeah the two of you could also be waiting to have reciprocity together it's like man i can't wait to just be together and both of you are feeling like the wounded warrior like uh you may like fall into each other's arms like when y'all finally get together it's like oh finally like we can be together like uh yeah, this is someone's secret wish or desire with the high priestess. For some of you, this is a Pisces. Pisces and Scorpio relationship, okay? Both of your major arcanas are here. For some of you, whoa, okay. <laughs> okay. For some of you, this is like a secret relationship. This has been kept under wraps. I don't I don't know who has been Ooh, y'all. Scorpios, y'all always got a secret. Okay? Even if y'all are crushing on someone, I feel like y'all don't let a lot of people know. People may try to have an idea of who you like or who and they could be totally wrong. <laughs> they could be so wrong. Because Scorpios, you know, I just, I think y'all like that, that secrecy. Like y'all don't like everyone knowing who y'all are interested in. <laughs> There's something very secret here. Okay. Very secretive, well-guarded. Okay. Seven of Wands. There's your energy again with the death card. Um, Someone could be going through death of their ego. Okay. When I get the um, emperor with the death card. Some of you could also, <laughs> oh, yep, we have the emperor and the uh, empress back here. Emperor and empress. Y'all both admire each other a lot. Wow, there's a big transformation coming, Scorpio. 
And when it comes, I feel you're going to be so protective of this person and they're going to be so protective of you. It's like the two of you living in your own private world of love. It's like nobody has to know what we do. All of that that's going on behind the scenes, that tower, it's like, mm-mm, keep it quiet. What song is that? That I'm thinking of this song. Uh, I think it's John B. Uh, don't listen to what people say they don't know about, about you and me. Put it out your mind because it's jealousy. They don't know. Yes, it's John B. Who is a Scorpio? John B is a Scorpio, y'all. That's crazy. I get songs for y'all. So some of y'all are very into music or you speak to your lover through music. I got, yeah, I, I think that was what, last week I got a song for y'all. I think it, yeah, something about Chris Brown. Yes, y'all. So I get songs for Scorpios. So somebody is very into music or like I said, speaks through music to their lover. That's how a lot of you communicate with the person that you love. So I feel like what what that song is saying don't listen to what people say they don't know about our love yeah they don't know about you and me put it out your mind because it's jealousy they don't know about this love yeah so it's like somebody they may think they know remember i i was just saying that People may think they know who you like or who you're interested in, and it's not the person that everyone thinks or vice versa. People may think that they know who your person is interested in, and it's like, nope, actually, I'm interested in, in Scorpio. <clears throat> I'm in love with Scorpio. Okay. All right. Um... <clears throat> We are moving on to, <laughs> let me, let me go to this deck. What emotions are coming out in this connection? What emotions are coming out? Because I do see that this person is wanting to hear from you. Okay. They may not have heard from you. Look at that. Pleasure is the first one to come out. Okay. Anxiety. Wow. Ooh. Empathy. Someone, I feel like someone wants you to understand what they've, they've been going through, like not hearing from you because they see you as the hermit, but there's a lot of passion here. This person, it's like you give them anxiety. Ooh. Pride. Mm. I feel like they're too prideful to tell you or to let you know, <laughs> to let you know, uh, just how anxious they feel when they think of you. They feel very anxious, Whew. especially if they haven't heard from you or they don't know what you've been up to. They feel anxious with like their mind races when they think of like what you could be doing or who you could be around. Okay, what are the letters coming out for Scorpios in this person or this situation? What's coming out for Scorpios? The letter T, okay? This could be a person, place, or thing. The letter L. Whoa, the letter R. The letter C. The letter J. The letter M. And <laughs> come on. Okay, we pulled two more. <laughs> the letter X and the letter V. Okay. All right. And let's come to the advice. Advice for Scorpios. In this situation, advice for Scorpios. You know, guys, I forgot to, I think it was last week, I forgot to pull your sexual energy for you and this person was it last week on one of your readings i forgot i had did everyone else's except yours so forgive me for that 
So I'll pull, pull some cards now. What's the sexual energy between Scorpios and this person? What is the sexual energy here? Okay. We have handcuffs and blindfolds. Okay. We have use your tongue. What's the sexual energy here? Spank me. Okay. Right there. Okay. Somebody like be handcuffed and blindfolded and spanked. Okay. <laughs> I just got um dom and submissive. Dom and sub relationship. So I feel like this could be you being a dom and them being submissive or they're the dom and they're wanting to make you submissive. Okay. Someone enjoys like those roles. Okay. In their sex life. They like sex games is what I'm getting. What else? Whoa. Turn off the lights, please. Okay. They like sex in the dark. I like it fast and rough. Ooh. Tickle my ass. I won't stop you. Okay. Somebody like ass play. Let's try different positions. What else? I love your chest. Mm. Could be I love your boobs, breasts, tits. Look at that. I told y'all. Okay. Y'all stop. I just said that. I like to dominate in the bedroom. Control. Somebody likes to be a dom. I'm telling you, I had already said that, Scorpio. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Spirit is confirming. Let's get a few more. Someone likes shower sex. You know, I've tried this. You know, I'm, I'm saying this because I, I just feel like saying this. <laughs> I'm not a shower sex person. I just, I feel it's too slippery. And I've actually kind of hurt the inner part of my thigh before. <laughs> Y'all trying to... Trying to be different and have shower sex. Okay, let me stop. <clears throat> okay, because I slipped. Like, you know how you slip in the shower? Yeah, so that's why I don't like it. Are you having sex with someone else? Yeah, someone is feeling bothered. I told you this person has anxiety because they could be thinking about who you're with or who you're around or what you're doing when you're not around them or... The fact that you haven't reached out, okay? Your head game is amazing. Okay, let's stop it right there. Kaboom, that's the mic drop moment. Ooh, I love massages, giving and receiving. <laughs> Make me come. Okay, I had to show you what was at the bottom. Yeah. Ooh, okay. So that's your sexual energy with you and this person. Okay, advice, advice for Scorpios with this connection. Choose a new direction, okay? A lot of you will be choosing a new direction. And when you do, there's no need to worry because I feel like you're coming into <clears throat> a very strong connection with this person. There is a strong physical attraction. There is also love here. I just feel like there is fear overall. It feels like the both of you need to overcome fear of rejection, uh-huh, there's something better. Yeah, I think that came out for you before. Yeah, look, and wait, wait, yeah. Just wait, you guys, because there's something better. Uh-huh. I feel like this person is the better. On your other reading, I was saying you were ending it with uh, a Capricorn. Some of you were ending it with someone, and it's been very painful, and you're you're choosing a new direction, uh-huh. And there's no need to worry, you guys. No need to worry because there is something better with this person. There is something better here, okay? Coming in for you guys. You just need to wait on it, okay? Overcome that fear. Cross watch you're dealing with the Scorpio. Overcome that fear. All righty, you guys. That is your energy, Scorpios. I hope I was able to shed some light on your situation, you guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. 
But yeah, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monet Tarot. Also subscribe to my new channel, Sophia Monet Talks. I just uploaded a wig review on there. Yes, your girl wears wigs, if I can say that right. Wears wigs, okay? <laughs> so check it out. And I would appreciate you guys supporting that channel. Help us grow over there. Sophia Monet Talks, okay? So look me up. And go ahead and watch the videos, hit that like button, and subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to purchase my book, Sleeping Adam. Get your copy today, you guys. All about my dating experiences and things that Spirit has really taught me about some uh, things that I was doing in a specific situation where I was just too much, y'all, in, in a dating situation. I was too much and doing too much, Okay. So that's what's in this book. Also, along with some things I've learned being a church girl and uh, <laughs> how I had to change my mentality, y'all. So pick up that book today, Sleeping, uh, Sleeping Adam, available on Amazon. Okay, so get it today. Thank you so much, you guys, for your support. Thank you for indulging me. I really enjoy reading for you guys in general, not just for Scorpios, but in general. I love reading for you guys. And so, yeah. Uh, don't forget to comment below. I don't say it enough. Leave a comment. If you feel like these readings are really resonating with you, um, don't forget to just let me know. Give me some good feedback or even if it's crappy feedback. You know, sometimes readers need that as well. <laughs> so yes, love you guys. Take care. Bye.